Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us today for the ninth in our series of the Lockdown Podcast, exploring colour astrology for the month of June. Now, although our office is back open, we are still working from home and unable to film and reach the studio, so we've had to improvise as per. Let me introduce ourselves. I am Laura and I am the IT half of our flowery duo. And I'm Debbie, the flourishy half of our duo. Welcome. Now, in our last podcast, Debbie, we explained what Aspen Gold says about you if you are a June baby and how the colour gold helps to stimulate the brain, helps to increase intelligence and mental agility. Now, as this is our fourth arrangement in the series, it covers a corporate design. So what, Debbie, are we going to make today? So today, Laura, we're going to describe how to create a simple linear calla lily arrangement. The simple and strong lines of this design would suit an uncluttered business environment. The addition of pictures, as well as our description for each step of the design, we hope will inspire you to construct this arrangement yourselves. Right, Debbie. Well, let's get started. Now, grab a cup of coffee and explain to our followers how we're going to begin. So let's start with what we need for the arrangement. Now we're obviously starting with calla lilies as the title would suggest. What else do you need apart from your usual floristry kit? Well it really couldn't be more simple. The other two items are a packet of gold decor diamantes and a cylinder bars. Literally those just those two additional items. So we're going to encase the calla lilies inside the vase, so make sure that dimensions allow for this. So start by placing the decor diamantes into the bottom of your clean vase. There are only the calla lilies left to work with, so after conditioning them overnight, how do you arrange them inside the vase? So arrange the calla lilies on your workbench in a staggered formation, making sure that the first will be just under the rim of the vase and the last just above the decor diamantes. Place the vase beside you to use as a guide, then you can get an idea of height. Then secure all the stems at the base of the flowers with anchor tape. Calla lilies, I know in particular we've spoken about it, have a tendency for the stems to curl. Now I can see that you've taped the ends with anchor tape. Is this to prevent the curling and so that the flowers can still take up the water as normal? Yeah, good, good question. Um, it will prevent the calla lilies from curling and it produces a firmer sort of collection of stems to push into the diamante so you've got like a larger surface area that you're trying to push down into the bars. You're not compromising on the cell structure of the flowers so they will hydrate as normal. So once you've pushed the callas into the diamantes uh, you add water and ensure the stems have a sufficient drink. I know in previous experience that calla lilies are quite thirsty, so would it be advisable to top up the water every day? It does really depend on the environment in which the arrangement is placed, but almost certainly every day would be good. If you're delivering to an office environment, it may be advisable to mention when delivering that the design will need frequent watering. I'd also recommend that it's not placed in direct sunlight as the shelf life will be reduced hugely. That's a really good tip. Now, apart from a modern, modern office setting, where else would you use this arrangement? So the calla lily is associated with youth and rebirth. So by using a gold calla lily, signifying stimulation of the brain, increasing intelligence and agility, it would be perfect for a startup business or a new venture. You could use it for a table centrepiece for a motivational speech at a dinner reception, or perhaps as an inspirational welcome to a wellness therapy centre. The possibilities for this quick and simple design are huge. How could you change the appearance of this design apart from using a different colour? And are there any other varieties of flowers that can be used? 
Yeah, so you could change the appearance by adding stones rather than the decor diamantes, pebbles, sands, or glass beads in the base of the vase. Um, and instead, perhaps a square vase rather than cylindrical. Um, the colour lilies could also be replaced with gerberas, roses, or even carnations, though you would you lose the clean lines that the colour lilies give you. If you want to use calla lilies but would like a slightly different appearance, you could always group them rather than stagger them as we have, but you probably would need a slightly wider vase to achieve that. Well, Debbie, this draws our ninth lockdown podcast to an end. I hope you have all enjoyed it and it has inspired you to have a go yourself once life returns to normal. Look out for the next podcast in our Colour Astrology series, which is based on a simple vase design. So what are we going to be creating next, Debbie? Next up, Laura, it's one of your favourites, a semi-crescent punch bowl arrangement. And I certainly look forward to it. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. It's goodbye from me. And until the next time, it's goodbye from me. Stay safe and keep well. Bye.